send that around. I think one of the hardest things for Christian artists is they feel boxed in by language. And because of that, they feel like they only have um, a limited palette that they can experiment with. They have a limited canvas that they can paint with. They have a limited um, language. And beauty transcends a lot of the, the walls that we create with our language. May your love cause us to open up, cause us to open up our hearts. And so I have many friends, even within, within Brilliance, that would not call themselves believers because they're not sure what they are. And yet I invite them into this. And part of that is everyone respects what the music is trying to do with beauty. And so there are tons of artists um, who have such an amazing message of love and hope, and I would call it a Christ message, that also deal with um, realities and speak in a way where they're not worried about the gatekeepers. And so they make amazing art outside of the church, and yet they're Christian artists. Oh, for the hopeless, your love is strange in our weakness. Your love is. I've never called myself a worship band. We're not that. Um, we are not a, even when you say Christian band, like I don't take requirements for people that play music with us to like sign on the dotted line, what do you believe, are you a believer? But we are making art that is um, based on the teachings of Jesus. Strange in our weakness, your May we love. There is room for doubters, and there's room for non believers, and there's room for all the poor in spirit, all the losers, because we take to heart. Blessed are you, poor in spirit, for yours is the kingdom of heaven. Causes to open up, causes to open. And so we try to always have an open and inviting uh, band as well as my approach to other artists. Now we bring hope into the dark. I'd love to teach you this chorus. <laughs>